Now these are the new M42 to LPL hard mounts made from solid brass. Now they work on all M42 lenses, but there is a prolock feature that is only compatible with Pentax Super Multicode attacker bars. Now the prolock system prevents unscrewing of the lens from the mount or the adapter, giving it a rock solid connection. Now it did say super multi-coated because many of the super Takamaras don't have this locking ring. The locking ring is something that came along a bit later in the design of the lenses. Like my eight element super Takamar 50 millimeter, for example, does not have a locking ring and the adapter will still work with it, but you won't get that pro lock feature. So with these mounts inside the box, there are three shims, which you may or may not use, a set of screws, eight black and three silver, two rings, and the mount itself. Unscrew the pilot base plate from the mount. This is the pilot, and this is the LPL mount itself. Now to install the mounts, first thing you need to do is screw the pilot base plate onto the lens. Make sure it's on there nice and snug, but just be sure not to over tighten. Next, the pro lock ring gets installed over top of the pilot base plate. It's called the pro lock ring because you'll notice right here, there are two little tabs. Line these tabs up with the locking pin on your lens and boom, fits in there perfectly. I should mention that there are two sides to this pro lock ring and because we're screwing this into the base plate, make sure the side with the wider opening is installed facing up where you see these little ridges and grooves there. Now next, we're gonna take the eight black screws that came with the package and just screw them into the locking ring here. Now you probably don't need all eight as long as you screw at least one screw into each little uh, section here, but I'll lose them if I don't. So I'm just gonna install all of them. Now these are tiny and easy to install, but I, I would recommend not over tightening. You don't wanna strip these so you can remove them later on if you want. Just make sure they're on there nice and snug. Now once that's done, we'll take the LPL mount itself and install it onto the lens. Now notice the top center of the lens is marked by this little reddish orange line. We're going to line up the red dot on the adapter, not this red dot, that red dot, with the red dot on the lens. Now once that's lined up, use just a little bit of force to lock it in. Then we're going to use the three silver set screws to secure the mount to the lens. Now these are a little bit tricky to install, so I would recommend using some tweezers. And if you've got a magnifying glass, that's probably gonna help a lot as well. Now once that's done, simply screw on the pilot guide and Voila, you have an LPL converted super multi-coated Takamar. The absolute bang for your buck using the system is that it allows for a robust connection between lens and camera body with no wiggle, no play, a true positive lock.